We're in Carlton, in Melbourne, at the back of my little terrace house on Swanston Street. And we're in the grow room of a little mushroom farm that I've set up out the back in a super mini carport here in a plastic tent. I suppose the first step in the process uh, is to clean, have a bunch of clean buckets. I grow in buckets because um, they're recyclable, I reuse them. Then I get some straw, um, agricultural waste, wheat straw, pea straw, and I need to pasteurise that. Um, and the way that I do that is I get some straw, put it in this old fridge over here that I found in the street. And so I put as much straw as I can in here. I plug up the old fridge and then I fill it with hot water, set it at about 80 degrees and I close the lid for two hours. I put the straw in crates and I bring it over and I'm packing the buckets with the straw and a grain spawn. At the moment this is a grain spawn that I'm using and then I mix that with the straw and then I put the lid, of the lid on the buckets and then they go to um, into the incubation room. They indicate that they're beginning to fruit by pushing through little mounds of tiny little mushrooms through the holes on the buckets. And so once they start to pin, I then take them out of the incubation room and I put them in my grow room. And I start off by putting them over on this side and then over the space of about eight weeks, it's, I move them around and they fruit once twice, maybe three times. But on average, I grow about 13 to 15 kilos a week. Um, so not always enough to be able to um, provide the quantities that the healthy veggie boxes need. I really enjoy it, but it does take a lot of time. I mean, I don't think you should underestimate how much time and energy it takes to grow food. We're in Alfington at the Melbourne Innovation Centre, um, where there are a bunch of uh, businesses. And we're currently setting up our little part is a co-farm. Uh, mushroom co-farm. A mushroom co-farm. So we're actually two separate businesses, um, but we're working together. The mushroomery yeah. and sporadical city mushrooms. It's been <laughs> really handy working together. It's been, it's really tricky to find land in the city to farm on. And also it's been good working together and troubleshooting because there's been so many obstacles kind of getting to this point, um, that it's just nice to have somebody to sort of talk to <laughs> and be like, what do we do? <laughs> you know, and just share the load of, and the dr drama of yeah. everything. You're actually here on the most exciting day in the history of our co-farm. We've been trying for, for months and months to find a spot on this site where we could get power and water. We've finally dug our trench. We've got our power and water in the trench. It's covered over. <laughs> over here, we're running the um, water pipe down. So we've got a tap down the end, end there. It feels really exciting to be actually growing in this space though. It's so much bigger compared to my little space um, back at home. Every mushroom is unique. I love watching them emerge from the buckets and interact with their environment and develop into these beautiful, fine, wild creatures that all have their own personality. Is it perfect for an urban environment because it's quite contained, but it's, and you know, and we don't need soil. Two shipping, large 40 foot shipping containers each. Um, one's for the incubation and lab space and the other one is for the grow room. Um, then we've got some storage containers um, for our straw and substrates to keep that dry. Mushrooms need a humid environment to grow and so we had to figure out how to build a humidifier. Again, looking on YouTube, a bunch of different places. Um, but a really simple way of doing it is with a, a crate um, that's sealed and a simple pool mister in it and a fan and a snorkel into the space that you're growing. Um, and that's how I started off at home in a little two by two meter um, growing space, but here we had to upscale and so we did that by setting it up in a um, wheelie bin um, with pipes and fans coming out of it. You definitely like look at technical books, as, um, there's Paul Stamets has got a really fantastic book, Growing Gourmet and Medicinal Mushrooms, and he just spells out 
you know, building a, um, a grow room and the if, depending on the shape of the room, how you set up the ventilation, all those kind of things. The real focus of my farming and farming practice is, you know, minimal waste, minimal environmental impact. The shipping containers are um, insulated, which it means you need less environmental controls. The roof and the trusses are all recycled off, you know, demolition sites and old sheds. The pasteurisation units are just the 44 gallon drums. We recycle the water into the gardens around here. We're in a really good spot. The way I, I love them is they're just, um, just fried up with in oil on a really hot pan with a bit of salt and pepper. And just as a side, they're just absolutely scrumptious. Either that, like that on toast or on a bit on some rice or with miso, a bit of miso. They're just delicious. You can buy them um, in boxes from the farm here or through a variety of different box schemes which are further afield or you can eat them on plates at restaurants.